So the airbrush machine is a really special machine to have because it can create that soft layer of paint that you can't really do with hand painting. And so I'm just gonna break down this airbrush machine for you guys. I have the link below to where I purchased this airbrush machine so you can get the exact one that I have. And this guy has lasted me quite a long time. I love this guy. And I always keep it in the box with its original styrofoam padding, very important. So basically to start with the airbrush machine, you're going to take this little piece and it balances right here and it will hold your gun in between airbrushes. Then you'll take your hose and there's a little screw right here where you're going to screw in one end of your hose. They make this tape that you can wrap around the screw so it holds in the air better. I use that towards the beginning and then throughout using this a lot, I found that I really don't need it, it's not necessary. Then you're going to take your gun. Now this gun's really important. You wanna wash it after every use and you wanna take the parts off and clean every part individually. I will attach the video down below where I learned how to clean these, but very important otherwise the paint will build up and you won't be able to get the air through it's really frustrating there's a screw right here on the bottom that you're gonna attach screw on the other part of the hose and it just makes a little bit noise for the initial pressure to develop so I love these airbrush kits from chef master it's a liquid food coloring that I use to airbrush, you wanna use a edible food coloring that's specifically for airbrushing. So I have two macaroon shells here and I'm going to do one a really pretty leopard print and the other a kind of a rainbow zebra print. So you're going to put a couple of drops of your airbrush color at a time and you'll notice when it needs to be refilled because you'll be spraying and no color will come out. I like to test the color at first. I have a cup with a paper towel in it and I'll spray a little bit just to get any whatever else is left in there or any water out from after washing it. I have this leopard print stencil, cookie stencil I got off of Amazon. I will also include the link to this below. And you wanna make sure that you're holding the, air, the gun um, perpendicular to the shell, so straight up and down. Don't spray it on a slant because you could blow the stencil off. Give it a good coat. and then lift her up. And then when you're finished with one color, just get the remaining parts out and then to a paper towel, just like that. Now you can control the pressure of your airbrush through the nozzle at the end. If you let it out more, it's less pressure. If you tighten it, it's more pressure. I like to find a medium pressure because you don't want it to expel too much because these shells are fragile. You want it to be a very light coat. So now we're going to take our neon airbrush kit and pipe these white French macaroon shells with a rainbow airbrush effect, a neon rainbow airbrush effect. Look how pretty that looks. And they just blend into each other nicely like gradient. And then we'll take our zebra stencil and some more of that black airbrush color and to pipe on our zebra pattern. Once you're finished with the airbrush machine and the airbrush gun, you can turn off the machine and spray out any remaining air till it's all out. You will unscrew the hose and you're gonna want to take apart your gun and wash it thoroughly with hot water and a little bit of soap, let it dry and then put it back together. I find hand painting to be very therapeutic. So I'm going to paint in the leopard print with a little bit of a darker, golden yellow so just i'm using a little bit of these chef masters liquid gels the golden yellow and just a little bit of orange so it's just a little bit darker than the yellow shells you don't want it to be too orange you want it to be more of a orangey yellow that could work and we'll just fill in the little paintbrush the inside of that black leopard pattern wherever you see fit It's the little things.
and it's just beautiful. And then let those dry completely. Airbrushing, you wanna do a thin layer of airbrushing because if it's too thick, it's gonna take forever to dry, but these dry pretty quickly. And that's it, that's Airbrushing 101.